Hello everyone, it's Ahmed Abdirazi and welcome to the Geosteering course by Dr. Wair Shalem. We hope you have a great course and get the most benefits today. Let me start by introducing Dr. Wail, MEA Geoscience Instructor and Consultant, Master of Petroleum Geology, more than 12 years of upstream oil field experience, worked for Schlumberger Oil Field Services in Egypt, UAE, Kuwait, Bahrain, and Saudi Arabia, Borehole Image Expert, Geosteering Specialist, Technical Sales Advisor for ROG2, Geosteering International, Technical Consultant at the Egyptian Mineral Resources Authority. You are a member and an instructor. If you have any questions during the session, write in the chat box and doctor will answer at the end of that session. Thank you and don't forget the screen capture at the end of the day. Thank you, Dr. Wayne. Okay. Uh, thank you, Ahmed, for the introduction uh, and for the arrangement. Uh, thank you all. I'm very honored and I'm very pleased having you all here. Uh, this is adding too much uh, honor for me. Uh, really appreciate your uh, keen interest for uh, this course. Okay, uh, and the, I, I hope you get uh, something in the fishery uh, out of the course. The, the, the thing that makes me uh, very uh, happy that I have uh, like uh, a melange of people, mixture of different countries, uh, different backgrounds. We have uh, seniors, we have uh, mid-career, we have uh, senior students. Uh, actually, the course is not designed for students. That's why I, as much I, 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 I can, uh, I filtered uh, the students. Uh, maybe I allowed some students that they already have maybe some research topic uh, in this aspect or they are requested to uh, prepare something uh, concerning uh, the geosteering. That's why I allow uh, some uh, students. Uh, I'm very pleased also that I have uh, a couple of my colleagues here, uh, friends of mine. They are uh, very specialized in their field. They have uh, very uh, strong experience in different uh, aspects, uh, drilling, uh, geophysics, uh, petrophysics, uh, what else, geology, uh, geoscience, geomodeling. Uh, I'm very honored and very uh, pleased that I'm, uh, uh, I'm joining you now. I'm, I'm not uh, your instructor anymore. We are, sh we are just sharing knowledge here. Uh, it's not uh, one-way uh, learning, if we say. So I'm very uh, happy having you all here. We have uh, people from different countries, uh, also from Arab countries or not Arab countries. We have different people uh, from different countries. I'm very also happy having you all uh, here. Uh, and you hope you uh, enjoy uh, the course. Uh, that my, uh, our course today is uh, Geosteering uh, Fundamental. Uh, actually, the course is not designed for, uh, for uh, advanced level or for professional users. The course is designed like uh, the fundamentals of Geosteering or we can say the basics of Geosteering or the overview uh, for geosteering, that's why I make one of the requirements that you didn't attend any geosteering uh, courses before. So you can uh, consider that this course is an elementary level, not like an advanced level. Yani you will not take uh, this course or you have like a certificate out of this course and go and work in geosteering. For sure will help you working in future in geosteering. It will open it, it will open too much topics for you uh, uh, helping you in your steering but uh, it will be uh, helpful more if you want to integrate uh, if you want to inter uh, integrate your uh, your product or your current job with uh, steering it will also very helpful for uh, students or for uh, master uh, students or phd students that have uh, some scope of drilling uh, in their uh, in their research, it will be uh, also helpful for uh, who is thinking to uh, change a career or to uh, make the 
geosteering their career in the future because I'll open uh, doors for them. Uh, this is will fa facilitate for them uh, in, uh, navigating uh, deeply in, uh, in geosteering. Uh, also, it will help for, for who's uh, working in drilling, but they don't have a chance to see what uh, the geosteering people are doing in their offices or in their uh, boxes. Uh, so, because w w when we go uh, deeper uh, in this topic, we will know that there is a link, there is a communication between the driller and the rig and the steering guy in the office. Uh, I know that we have uh, some uh, people that are working in drilling here uh, with us. Uh, so, it, maybe after this course, they can speak the, the, the same language. Uh, also, um, this course, uh, this uh, piece, of course, uh, if we can say, it will, it will, it will also be uh, helpful for uh, people that they don't have too much uh, geological background while drilling, because most of we have uh, lots of proficients uh, in drilling uh, aspect in the drilling field. Their background is not geology. Uh, maybe the, the mechanics or uh, electricians or uh, mathematics. So they don't have like uh, a pure uh, background, geoscience background. So uh, this is also uh, will uh, help them. Uh, excuse me, maybe for messages, uh, I'll not, uh, I cannot focus in, if, if, you, if you type something, uh, unless I'll finish my uh, my talk, then I'll have a look in, in your uh, text uh, typing messages. That's why uh, maybe uh, Ahmed can help me if somebody asks me uh, or want to, uh, me to highlight something or mention something during my, 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 my talking uh, later on, because I, I, uh, it, is not easy, it is not easy for me to uh, to focus in, uh, in in your typing, yani just uh, accept my uh, apology about this. Okay, uh, I think uh, I finished my introduction, uh, and let's uh, uh, have your uh, seat built fast in, uh, and let's navigate uh, with juice uh, theory. I, I get used before going into any topic. I I ask myself. يعني, uh, and, and also the question for you, uh, three, three different uh, stuff, uh, what, why, and how. Uh, maybe uh, some people, they, they, they prefer to start why, and some other people, to, uh, they prefer to start what, and how it comes, uh, maybe after, يعني, usually after what and why. That's why we, I, uh, we ask, and now I'm asking, uh, what is geosteering and why we do uh, geosteering and how we do uh, geosteering. Before we start, uh, can survey uh, how many people here they are first time to hear about uh, geosteering? Maybe they can raise hand or يعني, uh, there is an option here. I think uh, they can raise uh, hand or make like a mark. Uh, okay, two. Uh, first time. Okay. We have like 10 people now. Uh, okay. Geosteering, uh, the word is divided into two parts, geo and steering. Uh, this is just uh, uh, the word itself. Okay, we have more than 40, uh, we have, uh, okay, we have 37. Uh, geosteering, it's from the word, we have geo and steering. Uh, geo, it came from geological, uh, the uh, geoscience. Uh, steering, it came from uh, driving. So, if we can say, you drive you, uh, your will uh, in a geological manner uh, to reach uh, achieve, and to achieve your target. Uh, drilling is a science and uh, geology is a science. When you combine or when we reduce the gap between uh, drilling and uh, geoscience or when we, when we try to make a link between geology and drilling, this is what we call it uh, geosteering. Why 
we do uh, geo geosteering. Uh, actually, nowadays, geosteering uh, become one of the important uh, fields and one of the important aspects because lots of operators, they go uh, to more toward the LWD technology and uh, logging while drilling technology or going for deviated more toward deviated and lateral uh, wells or they have like uh, expensive uh, platform that's why they want to achieve uh, lots of stuff during the drilling that's why uh, geo steering uh, initially uh, become uh, a very important uh, topic uh, nowadays uh, during the course we will go deeply how we do uh, geo steering we do geo steering using uh, some methods Maybe some of them are traditional methods since uh, maybe 20 years ago. And some of these methods and these techniques are uh, advanced and are new techniques. And we still have like advancement in uh, geosteering methodology and uh, geosteering geo methods. This is for one of our uh, maybe uh, one of our colleagues here that he is working he is working for a operator he is working for for an operator and maybe they are planning to do uh, steering in in a future job maybe if he allow allows me to ask him why you think about steering for this job or why your company it changed it changed uh, the mind can I answer this question? Yeah, go ahead, Mr. Suleiman. Yeah, in, in, in certain reservoirs, you have a, a really uh, thin reservoirs, and you want to maximize the contact in the reservoir. And this is why you want to use a geosteering to make sure you have the maximum contact in the reservoir so you maximize your production or your injection in that place. Exactly, exactly. So, in, 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 a, in a simple word, maximize your reservoir and hence maximize your production and hence maximize your uh, financial output out of it, right? So, this is in a simple, in a simple, okay, way. Okay, any, 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 anyone else uh, had like a similar scenario? Uh, avoiding the water zone. Avoiding the water zone. You mean avoiding the water zone to uh, to like uh, achieve a reservoir away from the water or to to reduce the water cut or the or to to make like a delay for the water onset? This is yeah, what just mean? yeah, just to have a standoff from the water so that there is a delay in water production. Ah, uh, delay in water. Okay, excellent, excellent. Oh, okay, this is also one of the most important uh, stuff. Okay. Before planning for something like this, okay. Sometimes we expect our uh, our uh, reservoir uh, is smooth and homogeneous, like what we have right now. For the people uh, first here, first time here about geosteering, always in, in the geosteering, uh, uh, Mark, go ahead. Or you, you're, ju you're just trying, or you are you want to ask something? Yeah, no, thank you, Owen. Keep going. But Garab, mesh, okay. Uh, we we should have like a target. We should have like a target, certain target, and you should have like a plan. Target. This is your target zone, your sweet spot, your zone of interest, and the plan. Uh, the plan you want to follow to reach to this target. The target, you define the target from your uh, previous study, either you have uh, seismic data or you have model, uh, previous model from other drilled wells. So this is, we call a target. So we have like, the, this is the top reservoir and this is the bottom of the reservoir. Uh, and this is the thickness of reservoir based on your previous uh, homework or based on the previous data that you have. Then you define the zone and then you start uh, making like a plan based on the target you have to 
to uh, land or to go through uh, this target. In, in, in common, in, in an easy way, that the target is easy, easy, easy like this or straightforward like this. But ge geology is not like this uh, all, the, all the time. Uh, the uh, geology is very uh, variable and is very changeable uh, during the drilling. And also the data that you have, there is, all, there is always limitation in data, either in the data integrity, the, how many data you have, or in the data quality. So there is always uncertainty in the data. If this, th this uncertainty that makes the environment before drilling, it's different than the environment after drilling. That's why we have to correlate what we have before the drilling to what we have right now during the drilling. And we start matching between them and correlating between them to see how exactly the target, your, uh, your target zone or your oil zone or your uh, gas zone, how it uh, looks like. Okay, before this, you was expecting that your target was like uh, straightforward stuff. But once you start drilling, you may see uh, some of these stuff. Now you have the target before it was continuous like this. Uh, before the target was continuous like this. After that, after drilling, we start see that the target is not like what we have before. That's why you may totally uh, miss your reservoir because your expectation was not the same. That's why this is this is what we call geometric drilling or blind drilling. So you drill based on nothing. If you have any uh, structures or any change in the level of your uh, target, that's why you will miss your target. That's why we have this LWD measurement that get you uh, information or piece of info while drilling and allow you to achieve more from the target. So now we start having something to allow you to get more out of this target. Maybe this data or this uh, package of data is, is, is limited uh, to some extent. And, and maybe we have much better data or much advanced data. Uh, when, I, when, I, when, I, when I say data, I mean measurement. Uh, so maybe uh, yani the word is not accurate, but I, I, mean, I mean measurement. Measurement, that's why, uh, okay. So maybe you have some other data that allow you to get, so, so see, see the first scenario, I get this, I get nothing of the target, but getting more uh, measurement, I start getting uh, these parts, okay. I start getting some parts here and some other parts here. Going with uh, another uh, measurement, you will start to get much achievement of the target. So this is the main rule for geosteering. How much exposure you will get from the uh, result. Uh, all so that's why you have more. Uh, so all geosteering uh, work will allow you to get uh, much better uh, achievement or much better exposure for uh, the target. Okay, this is just introduction. The course content will be uh, uh, follow. The first bar, we have uh, three parts of the course, uh, quick parts, summarized uh, parts. We have the first part will be about uh, an overview, overview about you steering, overview about uh, MWD, LWD, uh, overview about directional uh, trading. The second part will start to go deeply in the geosteering uh, methods. We will start with the first method of geosteering, which is uh, geosteering uh, using modeled compare, modeled logs. 
and you steer and how to you steer based on borehole uh, images and then i hope to finish that and reach to uh, the uh, third part which is how to geosteer or getting uh, maybe some uh, helpful information about geosteering using the uh, remote boundary detection tool. Okay, if we want to uh, get like uh, an idea uh, about uh, geosteering, there is a good example for uh, like uh, they explain uh, what uh, what is geo steering. Uh, this guy is one of the uh, expert in geo steering. His name is uh, Stockhausen. Uh, he's the geo steering specialist for Chevron. He 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 uh, he make he, he say about geo steering that geo steering is like landing uh, an airplane in a runway uh, when uh, the, the the weather is foggy. Uh, and in the same time, the runway is moving up and down. So you can imagine you 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 land uh, an airplane, and the weather itself is is foggy, and the uh, the runway is moving up uh, and down. So why he 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 he, he says uh, about geo steering uh, like this? Uh, because you're steering your you land your will maybe sometimes you you land your will and you don't have enough measurement that's why you have like a foggy environment you don't have a clear stuff and uh, landing your will because also we use this term when we land the will you land your will and then you Hi. stay you stay well, yes well, can you please uh, just uh, make an introduction so everyone will be uh, online with you on the same page. What is a landing and what's a geo steering? Make them understand that this is one part and this is one part, so so people don't get confused. Okay. Okay. Uh, landing, landing your target. It's like having. This is your target layer, and landing your target will be like this. You drill your will, and then you start entering your reservoir. This process going from here to here, and to get into your target uh, in, in a smooth way, this, uh, this operation or this process or this behavior, we call it landing. So to enter your target in a safe way and in a smooth way, and you start getting your uh, target, this what this what we call landing. Then your target, it might be we having like this, or we having like this, or we having a fault like this. Like when I when I like the example I explained before. So that's why you want to continue navigation in your target. So if you exit, you want to come back, you want to come back and then you stay in your target. And maybe if you exit, you want to come back and stay your target. That's why this guy, he uh, say about you steering like landing an airplane in a foggy environment and then the runway is going up and going down. So here is the landing. And once you start entering your reservoir, the geosteering will start. Geosteering is to, you want to, add, to adjust your, uh, your borehole within this target while having too much geological changes. What is geological changes we will have the geological changes, we have too much geological uh, changes. Either you have a change in depth, the depth of your reservoir will be different, or you have a change of, th of thickness. يعني, maybe your layer, it will be like this, and sometimes it starts to be like this. 
and, and what we call it benching out or you might have a structure or you might have a change in the dips so you expect this target in this dips you might face the target in this dips all this stuff we call it geological changes although i'll go through these details later on in the other slides but i just want to highlight more as uh, uh, suleiman uh, asked me we will get more into this stuff in the upcoming slides no worries so now this is just uh, a say about geosteering geosteering the definition of, of geosteering as per uh, schlumberger it's an interactive approach to wealth construction by combining technology and people to deliver optimally placed well bore in a given geological setting and to maximize the performance of the well. Look to these bold uh, words. Geosteering is what? Is interactive. Interactive means that uh, you see something and you start deal with it. This is interactive. It's not like uh, spending some time in studying stuff uh, after uh, drilling or after you get your data. No, it's interactive. Uh, interactive approach. You see something you, and you need to interact with it. How is this interactive approach? By combining technology and people. We, we depend in technology, we depend on the advanced tools, we, we, we depend in tools, we, uh, we have tools, logging tools, we use different logging tools, and we have people deal with this tool and get the measurement out of this tool to get optimally placed wells, to put the well in the best place. Yeah, you see this uh, picture, why I want to, uh, why I'm doing this, to set my well in the best place for the reservoir. And don't worry, I'll have more slides explaining what is the challenges we face during, during uh, drilling, what is the challenges we face during uh, landing, uh, we will see a uh, couple of, uh, of example about a changing target from uh, zone to zone and, and to how you uh, until now is clear for all of you? Yes, yes, sir. yes sir. Okay. We may, let's, let's go to the term of uh, successful will. We have successful will in a short term and we have Successful, successful well, uh, يعني, uh, successful well, it's, you mean you, you make like a good achievement. But this good achievement, you did it in the short term ولا for the long term. This is what we call short term successful well and long term successful well. The short term, this is, this is maybe common between most of, of us, يعني, maybe not, not for all the people. Uh, working for geosteering, this information uh, it's for for all uh, the people that work in uh, exploration uh, and production uh, in oil and gas. Yeah. Uh, if you want to have a successful well in the, sh in the in the short term, you should have no accident, no blowout, no stuck pipe, no issues with compilation. You run com your compilation uh, smoothly. Uh, to be the well should be in, 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 in on, on, on time you don't spend too much time uh, that's why time is money as well uh, and budget and you 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 uh, you exert like uh, you spend a good budget not too much uh, and you get the hydrocarbon you get oil or gas in an expected rate and you you uh, produce uh, oil with no uh, unexpected uh, fluid like water or maybe some people targeting oil and they don't want gas uh, or vice versa uh, the, 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 the gas is economic and the oil is not economic or vice versa the oil is economic and the gas is not economic for them that's why they, uh, they want to achieve certain kind of fluid and they, want to, uh, they don't want to reach or to uh, get uh, the other stuff this is uh, what we call it successful well for the short term let's go into the uh, successful well for the long term. Long term, 
we mean we have sustained production. يعني you don't have like a production for uh, 10 years, 20 years, and after that you don't have nothing. Your your well is depleted. That's why we need uh, if we plan for a good well, we plan uh, for a, I mean uh, good long term successful well. We should have sustained or extended production. Uh, also delay. One of our uh, colleagues uh, he mentioned something like this. Delay the uh, coming of water or the intrusion of water. This is also uh, one of the important stuff. That's why uh, geosteering will be important in this because you place uh, your well in a level that uh, help you to delay this onset of water. Uh, reduced issues with intervention later on, uh, work over stuff and intervention in the well, uh, maybe because of wrong uh, trajectory or issues with compilation, so you don't want to uh, uh, having an issue later on. And increased uh, ultimate recovery you, you, you to get a good uh, and sustained uh, recovery as well. So this is a quick uh, summary about short-term, uh, long-term uh, successful well. Why I'm mentioning this? Because uh, geosteering well help us to uh, uh, to help and to get to this uh, type of wells, uh, the long-term uh, well. Okay. What, uh, now we will start having some uh, slides about what is the challenges uh, you we face during the uh, geosteering. The first the challenge we, we have, one of the uh, first challenges is the changing the level of your uh, target. Maybe you face your target deeper, or you face your target shallower this is this is one of the first thing that you want to uh, look at during the geosteering that's why good correlation between uh, your previous measurement and your real time measurement it will be helpful on this also you may, you may have like a structural uncertainty you, d you didn't plan for a fault, and you uh, suddenly get uh, a fault during uh, drilling, and this is usually happen. Uh, maybe this has happened be due to uh, some, uh, if you have like a se seismic quality, and the seismic quality is not that uh, good, or you have a good seismic quality, and you have some kind of sub-seismic fault, yani el fault. It's not like a big enough to uh, to get to be traced uh, in, on, on seismic section. That's why you 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 don't expect a fault, and then you start drilling and you face a fault uh, during drilling. That's why geosteering guy will take care of this while placing the uh, the well. When he start see a fault like this, we will see, we'll, we'll, we'll get the fault from the measurement we have while drilling. Then he start he will start to react to this fault and get in back into if he exit from the target he start uh, calculate uh, this fault and calculate the displacement of the fault and he will start to get back to the uh, the main uh, target. This is just. Uh, uncertainty uh, stuff uh, we have it commonly in uh, juicy this is very common uh, uncertainty okay there is lots of uh, challenges we we face during uh, uh, juice steering maybe we cannot maybe spend too much time in, in we have many of the challenges Sometimes you have this is your bay zone and you, you start to have like a bucket of uh, of shale like this. So this is very challenging uh, because maybe here you expect that all of coming it will be shale and suddenly the shale will uh, disappear. So maybe if you take a decision based on this and you get like an up, uh, so. That's why this is one of the challenges. A challenge as well is to map uh, a reservoir boundary. 
يعني to see the top of the reservoir and bottom of the reservoir and to stay uh, in a distance from uh, the upper boundary or uh, lower boundary. So, so usually in geosteering, we have like a roof or a cap and we have a bottom. So you have like your roof and you have your, your, the floor and you want to navigate in between. You want to stay between the, uh, the roof and the floor. You want to stay in between or in a level or in a distance from the roof or in a distance from we will open uh, just we are opening stuff and we will get uh, more slides about this as well okay also maybe you have different zone and you want to uh, stay in a uh, in a one uh, layer maybe you have uh, like multi target and you want to uh, focus in one target uh, also landing a well with, with a high dip maybe when you have uh, a very uh, uh, dangerous stuff here and you want to directly or uh, aggressively land your well this is also one of the of the challenges you you, you should get away from this uh, bottom very quick also one of the uh, uh, challenges is staying in a distance from uh, a boundary that we have like we have a shale and this is very common and you want to uh, you don't want to get into this shale so you want to stay above you want to stay above this shale or if you have a multiple oil water contact uh, like you have different oil water contact so this is this is also not easy because uh, your uh, oil water contact is not similar is it changing due to structure due to uh, some stuff that's why uh, steering also very uh, challenging here. Uh, okay, maybe benching out, the layer will decrease. That's what this is also unconformity stuff. Uh, fault zone. Here you are in the block, and then suddenly you start to be in another block. Uh, you have water zone, and you want to be away uh, from uh, the water zone, and sometimes. Uh, I was in, uh, in a job that we have like a fracture uh, stuff here. You have like a fr fracture uh, zone and you want to stay away from uh, this uh, fracture zone because uh, the fracture uh, will make like this. And you can imagine that you have fracture and the fracture will get the water into this stuff. That's why you want to uh, get away from this fracture zone and hence the, uh, this water. Or similar to what we have before, the, the shale stuff, the shale is changing with you. Or uh, maybe you have like gradient of resistivity. You, don't, you, don't, you have like gradient of resistivity from, we don't have like a sharp, uh, if we have like a sharp contact, between uh, oil and our petrophysicist here will understand this. If you have like a sharp contact like this, uh, this is mustn oil and this is the water. So now it's okay. Uh, this is your oil water contact. But if we have a boundary like gradual, gradually like this, maybe it's not easy uh, because where is your oil water contact? Uh, this is sometimes is very challenging uh, as well. Uh, okay, this is just an uh, example with what we have, what is our tools. We start, we, we, I talk too much about tools, uh, measurement, uh, we use it uh, while uh, geosteering or we use it to do, uh, to achieve a successful uh, geosteering. So what this is like uh, the common BHA. BHA uh, is the borehole assembly or your your tool set, your tool set that you, you get it down hole. This is for the people that first time uh, hear about this uh, topic. That your tool, your set of tools and the bit and uh, the bar drive or the motor that you use it to drill your well and get measurement. This one we call it, this is the bit and this is the power drive or the steerable system we have. This is what makes the bit go up and down or uh, left or right. 
you have like a tool like a resistivity tool or uh, maybe resistivity or or other tools but you have we have this one is common resistivity tool and we have the MWD we will explain what is what is MWD uh, and we have like a density uh, neutron uh, tool for petrophysist or for people uh, already know about uh, well logging they know what is density neutron and they know what is uh, resistivity and MWD is the uh, part of tool responsible for transmission of uh, of uh, data from uh, downhole to to the surface using some uh, mud uh, mud uh, telemetry system. We will we'll go through it uh, in the uh, upcoming slides. Okay, uh, let's uh, have now. What is the if we if we are talking about geosteering as a process? Let's know what is the procedure, what is the steps of geosteering, what, what is the phases of uh, geosteering to do a successful geosteering, how we start and how we end, uh, what is the methodology uh, for this, what is the procedures for this. Okay, first, first thing is the will planning. Will planning mean you plan your will. And let's go to this one. Okay, uh, just allow me. What is what? What do you what do you mean by uh, making a plan? You have something like this. This one we call it plan, or we have like dips. This one we call it inclination. This one we call it azimuth, and this one we call it what the activity. The dips at which dips that your angle will be how much. We describe we describe uh, the bit orientation in terms of two stuff. The amount of uh, the angle itself, how much the bit is, uh, 5, 10, 60, 70, and uh, so on. And the, the position, the, the direction, the orientation is directed to which direction? Is it to uh, north? Is it to east? Is it to left? Is it to right? Is it up? Is it down? This is what we call it. So we have inclination and we have uh, azimuth and we have our expected TVD. TVD, the vertical, the true vertical dips, at which dips you will be, how, how is your bit orientation or your drilling uh, parameters. Okay, so this is what we call the, the well planning. So you plan your well, you, you put the plan. Also, while putting the plan, you may, you may uh, focus on some stuff like uh, like what we see here you have this is this is we call a map 2d map and you have different wheels you have wheel uh, one wheel two wheel three and wheel four for example and you want to, to drill a new wheel so you have to avoid collision with other wheels collision either collision in uh, either to to pull to pull yani if you have like a wheel like this and you may enter your will like this in the vertical section i mean or you have a will here and your we will your will can touch this will so this is what we call it anti collision that's why that's why we have uh, a job description uh, called a will planner uh, this guy will planner he uh, focus on this he focus he he, he he will see the plan from the other will and how your plan will be safe uh, relative to the other will. It's not a matter of putting a plan and, and, and then uh, collide uh, or make uh, an accident with other wills. That's why uh, this is uh, the guy who do uh, this stuff, we call it will planner. Also define the dog leg. What is dog leg? Dog leg is the function or the aspect that control how much you will build or you drop the angle in, in, in the stand, in the 100 uh, feet. Yani how much you will build your, you will build the, build the build or drop rate. Uh, I, I, I make it simply. So maybe sometimes you cannot build very, very uh, strong. Yani you cannot increase the angle very strong. So you have like a window. window. The window defined based on the tool you have, how much is the capability of tool, of the tool you have to build or drop 
the type of the motor that you use uh, and also it's uh, controlled by the geology of the area and also by the later on production uh, because maybe if we drill uh, with, with, with a high rate or we build with a high rate and we drop uh, with a high rate maybe you will end up uh, having something like uh, like this 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 stuff will make issues later on with completion if you have like a case uh, whole production this will make some issues and lots of just just we are simplifying that's why maybe you need to build your will if you you will create your will you need to create your will maybe smoothly yani you make like this maybe you then you drop like this maybe like this maybe. not like this we, this is maybe sometimes you cannot even do it and if you have like a strong motor to do it maybe it will affect the production later on that's why uh, we need to uh, the web planner will also uh, will define uh, these uh, parameters okay b job a b job uh, so now the first the first part is the, the, to plan your will to um, actually we have uh, in our industry we have operator the owner the client and we have the service company so the owner of the of the well he want to place his well in this in this area or between this well then we came to the uh, part of pre job the pre job you prepare before you do you execute your steering you prepare before you execute your uh, your steering job you do your homework to achieve a good geo steering so till till here yani this one and this one i still didn't go to the drilling it's i still didn't start drilling i'm just preparing putting a plan uh, based on your wells your offset wells and then here we will start make like correlation between you see how many wells you have in in, in this area do you have nearby wells in this area you want to you, you have like will a and will b and will c and you want to drill a new well will d so you see how much wells you have in this area and how much wells have much data or enough data that allow you to correlate your new well with these uh, offset wells and based on this you make like a scenario maybe you look to your uh, nice seismic and you see from times that you have fault or you have like big change in depth so you you make like scenario you exhibit that uh, these uh, these depth scenario you you have to like to make a model for uh, for for changing the depth after botting the scenario define the target define the location botting your scenario uh, correlate your stuff then you will go into the real time phase which is the geo steering phase the phase now this is a phase of of well creation now you create your well you create your well based on your previous uh, pre job preparation data comparing your real time data with your pre job uh, data or you or with offset wells data and uh, interact with the geological changes happen in your reservoir or having with your target and this is after finishing the job you prepare like uh, a report or a decision uh, summary what is the decision that has uh, been executed uh, in this job uh, how much build how much drop how much achievement of the of the target net to gross all this is we call it uh, post job or final report of the uh, job okay let's uh, Let's start by pre job. Pre job, as I mentioned, I, I, I didn't start the job yet. I doing, I'm doing my homework before uh, before drilling. Yani I didn't start drilling, so I just prepare my data to uh, to see how it looks. What we what what we what we should check. Uh, 
what we should check during uh, this uh, phase or what we call it phase of expecting the unexpected yani what is your expectation about your target your target continuity your target thickness do you have fault do you have structures so this is we have it from the data that you, firstly we see our seismic what we have in seismic we have faults we have uh, we have a change in thickness we have uh, local dip changes uh, and then you uh, see how much uh, logs that you have available to start correlating uh, these offset uh, logs or offset well logs with the uh, RT logs or the real time uh, logs that we have. Okay. Based on this, we make something we call it scenarios. You make like uh, a model or scenarios. Mo models or scenarios. These these models are we don't we may, don't make like a 3D model or something. We make like a 2D simple model. Uh, if we have a fault, we make like a fault model. If we have a folding, we make like a fold model. If we have a model that we expect that we have a change in TVD, we will uh, make a model for a change in DVD. If we are expecting the target at different levels, we make like a uh, different scenario. I expect the target maybe at this level or at this level. But if we I didn't face the target for in this level, so what dips, uh, what other dips, I should expect the target based from uh, based on the correlation and the seismic uh, that we have. Also, one of the important stuff uh, that we should uh, check is the lateral continuity of your uh, target. Uh, what 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 I mean by lateral uh, continuity? Yani, uh, let me uh, use this one. This is your reservoir. Is your reservoir continuous, or it may be die at some level, and you start see another target? So if your reservoir die at this point, you should expect that you have blue target. And if you didn't achieve uh, what you want from this target, yani if I, uh, just a second, I'll drill this one, and then one, then one is finished here, خلاص. So then I have to drop and get back to this target. So maybe this is also another scenario. If I, if I don't, uh, maybe you have another target uh, uh, here. You have another target here. Maybe after, if this one finish, I can go up or I can go down. Or maybe I don't have either up or down. So here I, I'll TD my will. Uh, there is no further uh, scenarios I can uh, do it. So this is what we call it, putting different scenarios before, uh, before the geosteering. As much as more scenarios and as, as much as more, uh, if we can say, reliable uh, scenarios you put as much as much as the more uh, achieved target that you will uh, have and as as much as the more successful geosteering uh, job you will uh, perform uh, this one uh, one of your uh, stuff that you need to uh, know is mapping geosteering guy should know what is mapping? What is 2D mapping? What is contouring? Uh, what, I mean, maybe um, we have uh, uh, some people here know already about this, but I'm here I'm mentioning this for, uh, the, for the people that the first time, but I think any uh, guy with a geological background, he should uh, see map or study uh, studied, uh, map and uh, Face too much too much uh, issues with contouring uh, during the university, uh, or even our colleagues and our uh, teachers uh, from the old uh, days in the industry that they were spending uh, too much time in contouring. Uh, now we have like very quick and very uh, intelligent uh, software for doing the uh, contouring. Why I why I mentioning this because here the map we you will see some uh, you will see firstly the location 
you place, you plot, you put the your uh, wells. The I mean offset your offset well. Offset wells. I mean the nearby well. Your neighbors. Uh, when I say when I say offset means this is your neighbors. You you plan a new well. You plan. Uh, yani for example, if you want to build like a new house, maybe you check your surrounding uh, apartments, how it looks like to place your will in a in a in a in a like in a good place, uh, something like this. If we if we make an uh, a smaller يعني, uh, a simple example يعني, for uh, for the beginners. Uh, that's why you should have any geosteering uh, job. You should have at least one offset well, at least one offset well. And then you start put your plan based on this offset well. Maybe sometimes we have too much offsets. Yani maybe you have like, uh, just a second. Maybe you have something here and something here and something here and something here and something here. So you don't, it's not important to look at this. Because, uh, or maybe have you have something, uh, you have something here as well. Maybe it's not very important to look at all of these. Uh, the important, the important stuff is to have a look in the wells nearby uh, your landing point and your TD point, the start and the stop. What is the most well uh, or the nearest well to your uh, here? And what is the nearest well to here? If you don't have, yeah, for maybe you don't have like very exact, uh, like like what I put now, but maybe you have like a vertical, and here you want to make like a lateral section. So already you have something here, or you have something here, or you have you you can take this one as a reference, and you check, uh, you make the correlation between what you have here and what you are doing here while landing. Then getting into uh, the end of the well or the TD. You will start correlating what you what you are having here with what you what you show you maybe you have like more than one offset close to a landing point you start correlating with a well and close to the TD point you start correlating to uh, another uh, well and this one uh, this is this is the line this line for contouring and this is the direction of uh, the the up dip. So I'm going from the this one, the dip is low. So I'm going toward the up dip direction. So I, I so I'm expecting something. This is also one of the information that we can get it from here. So I have something like uh, so me I'm, I'm yani I have uh, target like this. So you are going up dip. If you go to this direction, it will be like the dip is down so you will start like this and then you will go uh, like this so this is what also what we can get it from this uh, this map uh, this 2d uh, map okay just a second Please. let's move on i already referred to this one before uh, that this is your sheet or your uh, this is usually like an Excel sheet uh, have uh, your plan uh, the plan you uh, maybe some uh, in some areas that you steering for them it's just following the plan يعني, they don't have too much challenges uh, they have like a thick reservoir uh, very big reservoir and uh, maybe like like a semi horizontal or semi horizontal reservoir if you don't expect like different changes uh, in the in the reservoir thickness or the reservoir dip, that's why it's it's like no uh, there is no much uh, effort that can be done uh, to do the geosteering. The main challenge is just to follow the plan. Me, the only challenge is stick to the plan and follow the plan. Then you achieve uh, the objective. Okay, similarly, uh, very simply, th this is this is the plan, and this is the target. Hello. So, yes. Hello. Yes. Yeah, I just want a small comment. Follow the plan if it is correct. Yeah. I mean, yeah, just uh, 
it's more comment. Sometimes, most of the time, the plans are not correct. Exactly. I mean, when I say not correct, the the, the uncertainty make it incorrect. Exactly. Yeah. This is a good. This is a good comment. Yeah. If the plan is correct, so you have to. Uh, so how to know that the plan is correct or no? This is during the real time. You always you 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 uh, yani, uh, you you you. you yeah, and during real time, when you have your piece of data in real time, Halas, you, you will forget what you have it before. So you, you, your, uh, your stuff, it will be more revealed. You, now you, you see a real data. You see a real, you take uh, a real time survey and you see if there is any changes or any, any error in the plan, you can figure it out and uh, uh, follow uh, what you have in the based on what you see in your uh, good uh, survey uh, points okay uh, so at its own, uh, you, you so you have a plan and then you have like uh, a target uh, layer this is your target layer and this is your uh, model so this is the basic stuff that we will have it before doing the uh, uh, geosteer excuse me uh, well, uh, who's this Who's this? Okay, okay, go ahead. Well, I, I have a question. According to the sandstone thickness or the reservoir thickness, uh, there is a limitation for the tool to work in a specific thickness. This is why you are designing the job. We we will come uh, on this in the in the in the upcoming slides. Okay, thank you. Excuse okay. me. Okay. Uh, 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 please, uh, we, yani, uh, one by one, yani. go ahead. Muhammad Sanad. Yeah, go ahead. So, side track, uh, it, uh, consider uh, a geosteering? Uh, because why you do side track? Based on what is your objective of side track? Uh, side track, uh, by, we, we go out uh, from the reservoir and we, we, we want to back again to the reservoir and we make the side track. Then this is your steering. It's a geo steering. It, yeah, it needs, uh, this is need, needs geo steering. What's the difference between a geo steering engineer and the direction engineer? Uh, this is. Uh, uh, okay, uh, we will get okay. to this one also in the upcoming slide. So please stay okay. tuned. Thank you. Okay. Okay, let's uh, move on. Uh, here, uh, one of the important stuff uh, during the, uh, the uh, for geosteering is correlation. Correlation, uh, we don't have like uh, this big uh, or this detailed stratigraphic correlation. We have like a simple correlation between uh, yeah, I mean, maximum Five wheels. Uh, why you, why we do correlation? Correlation usually we do it first. We have two types of correlation uh, for geosteering. We have a kind of correlation we do it before uh, before doing the, the geosteering in the phase of the pre job. Why we do correlation? Because the correlation first thing we 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 we, we do for the correlation is to define the target. What is your target? Is your target uh, this part or this part or this part is your target what uh, arab d is your target madud formation is your target uh, Uniza? is your target uh, abrawash is your target sharara whatever we are talking from different uh, places what is your target your target zone so you divide or if you have like uh, a subdivide the target to into another target maybe you have like you have like a big uh, target here and you have some issues either in the top or in the bottom, so you want to stay in a specific part of the target. That's why you draw, you plot your your correlation, and you start what you start uh, you start tracing your target. Yani you define the target. This is the target. This is the target. Okay. The second thing is to uh, see. Is if the target is a change in thickness, yani the thickness of the target uh, 
is constant or changing? Yani, this is the sickness. Is the sickness the same? Or maybe in other wells, the sickness is different. That's why, because you will drill, you will drill your well. Based on this, you will get, you will land, and then you will enter these targets. So should I expect that the target may be uh, in some, in some, uh, in some parts will become like this, and some parts will become like this, and the, and other parts will become like this. So this is also one of the stuff we will get it from uh, the correlation. So so the first is also uh, the depths at which depths I should uh, start face the target. So, because here it's very important to know the landing, the landing point. So, at which depths I'll start see the first signature of the target. This is also will be very important uh, during the uh, correlation. Is to to see the landing point, the TVD, the TVD, uh, or the top uh, of your target. You will face the target at which uh, yeah. Okay, maybe uh, this has depend on the sir, yani the company you are working with. Some uh, some people yani uh, make like further enhancement in the offset logs. Yani they get the logs from uh, from an old well, and they will do lots of enhancement. Uh, what I mean by enhancement, like if we have like log like this, uh, yeah, and this is your your target zone, but the log is maybe like this, and you you know that maybe some of these peaks are not real. This is will maybe it will give you a very yeah, uh, if that this peaks is not real. It will it will make too much impact during geosteering because this is uh, based on this you will put like different layers. يعني, uh, you may you may have like a layer like this and you may have like another layer layer like this and you may have another layer like this based on what based on the impact because you you was expecting that you have too much stuff like this and if this noise so it it there is some soft soft some software and some uh, people can work in the offset well data to enhance uh, the uh, offset well as much as they can and to get out the smooth looks uh, to uh, facilitate later on the modeling process and hence you do uh, more uh, reliable uh, geosteering. So this is what we call it modeled logs. And some other techniques and some other people they take uh, the log like it, يعني, زي ما بنقول بالعربي بعبلو, يعني. they take the log like it is whatever the beaks, the noise, whatever they have, they take it like this. They, they don't make any filtering or any extrapolation or any uh, smoothing. يعني. Okay. Uh, then we will start uh, populate the property you you got it from the target here. Yeah, for example, if we have like this is gamma ray, so I'm expecting that I'm, here I'm, I'm displaying different curve for the target based on what based on the offset uh, well data that I have. I have gamma ray. I have uh, resistivity. I have uh, density. So that's why I have many property. So based on what? I'll steer based on gamma ray, or I'll steer based on resistivity, or I'll steer based on density. This is based on your objective. And for example, if you have like a clean sand, and you don't have an issue, so maybe you steer based on gamma ray. Maybe you have a sand with different resistivity profiles, you will steer based on the resistivity. Maybe you, if you have a shale, uh, or you are dealing with a shale gas, maybe the density uh, will be uh, very helpful. So that's why, based on what, what is your target? Uh, then you will start to fill that, the, the model that you have before. This is, we call it an empty model. Yani model without any property, without gamma ray, without resistivity, without anything. 
then you start to populate your or uh, fill your uh, model with the property what what this mean يعني each peak or or يعني each log log motif that was having before it will mean something in the model يعني uh, this one it, it is a model for gamma ray يعني if, if you see this uh, this header here so this is means that we have low gamma ray and we have high gamma ray. that's why this is low gamma ray and this layer which is and low gamma ray is the target if you are dealing with sand so that's why this is the your target and the, the dark one which is the higher gamma ray and this is we call it a pre-job scenario you make like a pre-job you just test the plan if i make the, I, I put the plan i landed the wheel and i'll go based on this model and this plan i'll exit from the reservoir from uh, at this point maybe i'll start shifting uh, Muhammad, shifting. Muhammad, uh, could i just um, ask very quick question the property you added here is it um, some sort of image which i see at the gamma ray property or it doesn't look like a log actually have you converted into some image log okay uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll make it in a simple way. Just to stay with me. Here, let's, uh, let's imagine that we have like, this is your gamma ray, and this is your target layer. You have like the gamma ray response here is like this, and then you have like a gamma ray response. Okay, let me use another, uh, another color. Uh, make this one okay so you have like your gamma ray like he like this and then the gamma ray like this and then here the gamma ray like this and then you start having the gamma ray like this uh, and here you have a value for gamma ray like you have maybe like 70 and here you having like 50 and here you having like 25 and here you have like uh, maybe 40 or 55 okay how many values now i have for gamma ray and this is this is what this is you have here a vertical wheel in this area you are having a vertical wheel and this, this is a, this is a well you already drilled before and in this well you have this log we have you have gamma ray here and here and here and here this is the different gamma ray so if you start giving this uh, numbers here codes yani if you give 70 this color okay just a second no uh, i sorry i, I think I, I think if, I got it. You probably use the color map. If you get if you get this one this color and then you get you get this one this color. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, now you you got it right, and then you get this one this color. So now you end up with this is what we call a model filled with a property. We have like an you have how the gamma ray here is how much the gamma ray here is how much, right? All this curve is, we call it modeled curve. Yani, uh, modeled curve, uh, the meaning of modeled curve, yani curves, I did it like synthetic curves. I, 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 I expect at this place, I uh, how much the value of gamma ray, and at this place, how much is the value of gamma ray, and this place, how much is the value of gamma ray. So I enter the reservoir, I enter, here is a reservoir, all this part is a, is, is a, is a, a, we have a high gamma ray. يعني هنا في هير فروم لوج سي ذا جاما ري هير از فيري هاي وانس اي انتر ذا ريزرفوار اي ستارت جيتنج وات دروبنج جاما ري اول ذس از اي ديد ات بيفور اي دريل يعني اي ديدنت دريل يت ام جاست ميكينج لايك ا سيناريو وات اي هاف بيزد اون ذا بريفيوس لوج ذا اي هاف اند بيزد اون ذا كارنت موديل ذات اي بيلد سو ناو ام ستارت جيتنج انتو ذا تارجت That's why I got a drop in gamma ray, and uh, because this is sand, I got a drop in gamma ray, and I got here what increase in resistivity. Then 
what will happen if I exited my target or I get I already cut my target out so I, I get here again uh, what we call it uh, high gamma ray and then we get a drop in resistivity and then we get we get a change in all loops to understand what we should do during uh, drilling back if I have a similar scenario like this now you cannot wait and see uh, wait and look here and you start to see your drilling keep like this so there is an action if we have this scenario you should do it we will we will say it let, later when we will talk about what we call it model compare and update during the uh, geostate. 